able to. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I was gonna say tabletop day. Do you like tabletop stuff? Do you live in the Toronto area? Well, I'm gonna let you know about some cool tabletop locations in the city. <laughs> Hashtag tabletop day. So I decided to do my vlog outside today because it's so nice. Who said hey? Who's saying hey? A heckler. Who's a heckler? Please don't heckle me. I'm very sensitive. I'm actually not gonna do this because no, no, I'm gonna go inside. Note to self: vlogging outdoors is no fun because people watch you who aren't on the internet. Okay. So a little bit ago it was April 5th, which is International Tabletop Day. Woo! Party hard, raise the roof, swaggy. It was so much fun. And on Tabletop Day, I was gonna do a live stream with some awesome vloggers, and I'm gonna show the promo right now. The live stream didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. Yeah. But what did work out, I will put in the in this. And I got to meet a whole bunch of amazing people that I met over the internet, and surprisingly, they weren't serial killers. Like, wow. What's your favorite board game, Jesse? Oh, I don't know. I love them all. So first stop on our tabletop day quest was 401 Games. So, Mo, how's your tabletop day going? going? It's going great. Are you having fun? So excited yeah, to see everybody. I'm having so much fun. We are in 401 Games on Young Street, and I am with... Zoran. Zoran? Yes. That's the coolest name I've ever heard. Thank oh my god. What would you say are like your favorite in this store? That's a large question. There. It's a very large question. Okay. There's so many. Red Dragon Inn is great. Pandemic's a classic one. So is Catan. While I don't like it myself, it is the best possible way to get people into board games. Okay, so Catan's like a, a good starter. A lot of people consider it the best board game of all time. Really? Because it's the gateway game to everything else. Gotta play this. Yeah, yes you do. Random stores that don't sell board games, they sell this, charge you 80 bucks for it, you'll still buy it. It sells a Catan. It's... And here at 401 Games... It is only... 30 bucks! <laughs> I personally play a lot of RPGs myself. What kind of like cool RPG board games are there? Pathfinder actually recently came out with the Pathfinder card game. Oh, it's right there, Nate. Which is right there. It's a card version of the RPG Pathfinder. The problem RPGs have is very hard to get into. And that's why they're always trying to make it simpler and simpler to learn how to play them. Okay. And with the card game, now you don't need something known as a game master. Is that like a dungeon master? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. It's, it's their <laughs> term for a dungeon master. Okay. And okay. you guys still play all the same role playing, all the same die rolling, but you don't need someone to control everything. I like role playing. That's that's my thing. Okay. So that's cool. I wanted. Oh, now I want to play Pathfinder. If you want to get into role playing, uh, Mice and Mystics is the other very easy one to get mice into. Mice and Mystics. It's when you play as little tiny mice in this little church. And so, but it ends up being far more gruesome than you think. Oh. Because if you walk into a kitchen as a person, you're in a kitchen. Walk in there as a mouse, you got vats of boiling lava pretty much, you got cleavers that will chop you in half. You fight a cockroach just the size of you. So that's uh, oh my God. a little frightening. And a cat is a dragon pretty much. It's, it's gonna eat you. Yeah, there's a couple of role playing games. Descent, Journey in the Dark. I'm not a huge like tabletop guru, and the only time I play board games is when I'm like at my friend's house who is a tabletop guru. There were so many games that I have never even heard about. Heard of, heard of, heard about. Words are hard. Here, if you look to your left, we have board games. If you look yeah. to your right, there's more board games. <laughs> there's so many board games. Oh, Laura's running. <laughs> What are the card games? There's a Firefly card game over there. How can someone pick from all of this? It is overwhelming. Like, what kind of what kind of like genres are there in tabletop? Uh, there's a lot of different ones. You see, the way games are organized for uh, tabletop is by their mechanics. If it's a uh, worker placement game, it's based on die rolling. It's based on trading with each other. It's based on role playing. Usually, it's the mechanics of the game or what determines genre. Thank you very right. much. No problem. Thank anytime. you very much. Okay, one, two. Three. Tabletop day. <laughs> good job, good job. Yo, check this out. I wish I wore jewelry, cause look how freaking cute this is. I want it, I want it. Can you like hang stuff here? It's like, no, super cute. <laughs> Stop it. Also, in the basement of 401 Games, there's an area where you can bring your own board games and cards and battle it out. So right now we're in the basement of 401 Games. Um, as you can see, I guess, there are some people playing, there are some awesome posters. So when you come to 401 Games, you can come down here for tournaments, Friday Night Magic, to play games with your friends. So it's not actually that small. There's a lot of room for you to play whatever games you want to play. Quick PSA, if you're going to 401 Games and bringing your cards, trading is A-OK, -okay, but they buy and sell cards 
cards in the shop, so don't be that guy. No buying or selling your cards. Speaking of cards, guess who played their first game of Magic the Gathering at 401 Games? How was that? Well, I won, oh, so. Oh, oh, oh. I just won my first ever game of first Magic really? against Jesse. I lost! I, I suck! Guess that she just, you know, she just she sucks that much. Oh, it's a good thing she's awesome. really pretty. No, but Jessie was a really good teacher, and the only reason she lost is because she got a really bad hand. Or so she says. What? So you can get what we call mana screw or mana screwed, where you get no mana in your starting hand, and it's really hard to play, and you just keep getting no mana. Or you can get mana flat, when you get only land cards and nothing to play, except for land cards. This yeah. is what happened to me, which is why I lost the game. So 401 games. Young Street? Toronto? Yes. <laughs> After 401 games, we headed on over to Castle Board Game Cafe. Do you have a series of questions in advance that I can read up on? So oh, I can just good oh, hell. Basically, cute little cafe. You can get really good mac and cheese and play as many board games as you want for an hourly fee. Crap, what street are we on? Uh, Spadina. Spadina. So, Castle Board Game Cafe, Spadina, and I'm here with... I am Miles. This is Miles. Miles Davis, right? Oh, yeah. Is that a fake name? No, that's my real name. Nice! As you can see here, um, Castle Game Cafe is a place where people can get drinks and snacks and beanies and eat and play a craft on a board game, as you can see. We got a lot of them. Right? My favorite board game right now is a game called Avalon, like the fish. Okay, how do you play? Um, it's a little bit like Chinese checkers and a little bit like Go. So you're just kind of pushing marbles around the board. It's really, really simple, but a lot of fun, and it's really satisfying to push little pieces. And when you're in a large group, what do you think is the best game to play? Okay, best game to play? A lot of people like to play Cards Against Humanities, mm -hmm. uh, as you guys did. The problem with that is that because it's so limited, it gets old pretty fast. What I prefer for bigger groups um, is games like Anomia, uh, which is somewhere on the wall behind me. Um, or other big party board games that have like reacting speed involved. So I feel like it's really fun for a lot of people. It's a lot of, a lot of arguing and fighting. Um, it's something that gets everyone involved all the time. Okay. What would you say is the most popular game that people take to play here? Play? It depends on how many people. Yeah. Um, so it's like a group of one or two, uh, any of our two player games like Mr. Jack or Dark Lore are really popular. So chess is always kind of like, people pick that up a lot. But for bigger groups, it's probably cards. Yeah. So if you're new to board gaming and are looking for something they haven't played, outside of Settlers of Catan, which you know is always a classic choice, I'd probably pick a cooperative game. Okay. Something like Forbidden Island or Desert or Pandemic Ghost of the Three Tables. Like go to for cooperative games. Um, they're really nice because, you know, you play them together, you can make decisions one at a time, and it's just a lot of fun as well. Thank you very much, Miles. You are welcome. I hope you have a great day. Me too. Awesome. <laughs> you hope you have a great day. I meant to say you as well. Um, <laughs> I'm just bad at work. We'll both have a great day. We did so far. We did good. Signing out. Mo and Miles. Off. Another board game cafe similar to this is Snakes and Lattes. The only difference between Snakes and Lattes and Castle is Snakes and Lattes has more board games. They pay a cover charge, not an hourly rate. But Castle is brighter, the food's better, and it's right in the heart of Toronto. If you know of any cool game shops or board game cafes in your city, let me know in the comments below and I will compile a list in the... in the doobly-doo. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you should subscribe if you haven't already. Or not. I don't run your life. Hashtag tabletop day. Hey, you should totally subscribe because in my next video I'm going to explain to you the basics of my strange and wonderful hobby known as LARPing. Okay. La Loi Sir Less Language Officialis. <laughs>